the city of New York suffered extensive damage from the fall of the orbital elevator Percival. The UCS government, desperate for someone to blame, immediately accuses the OCU, based on the OCU-constructed wanzers used in the assault. The OCU denies the allegations, claiming that even though OCU wanzers were used, the pilots were not affiliated with them. Instead, they accuse the UCS of staging the incident to undermine their international standing. Tensions high, the UCS begins deployment of a retaliatory force on Huffman Island, the only location where the two nations share an overland border. UCS troops on Huffman assemble on the northern coastline, then move to invade OCU territory. The OCU detects the UCS deployment and launches a preemptive strike. They stop the UCS in their tracks. As part of the attack, the OCU's Electronic Warfare Divisions launch an incapacitating cybernetic attack on Fort Monis, turning the fort's defensive systems against the UCS. Left practically defenseless, enemy units overran the fort. A distress call indicates UCS personnel are trapped inside Depot 5. Already engaged in battle, the UCS can only afford to deploy two units on a rescue mission. Amongst the units, Squad 2, the 72nd Mobile Company, led by Captain Russell Hamilton, including new recruit Dylan Ramsey. Squad 2 takes the fort from the front, while Squad 1 moves to flank them from the rear.